I just remember when I finally called for help, I was in a fetal position in bed, couldn't get out, in tears all the time. Yeah. Even though I knew I had to stop, I couldn't. Yeah, I, yeah. I could not stop. Yeah. Hayden Penetier gets candid about her struggle with addiction and losing custody of her daughter. It was the worst signing those papers was like the most heartbreaking thing I've ever ever had to do in my life. The actress opens up on Red Table Talk, revealing she suffered from postpartum depression after the birth of her now seven-year-old daughter, Kaya, whom she shares with her ex, Vladimir Klitschko. I feel like people saw me struggling right. a lot. It was pretty obvious, and still nobody came and asked questions. Back in 2015, Hayden hinted at her battle with depression during a chat with ET. I understand the spectrum now of postpartum. The symptoms don't have to be as in your face and obvious. I definitely struggled with that a little bit. It's not a good feeling, but women need to know that they're not alone. To cope, Hayden says she leaned on alcohol. I did what I had seen family and the people around me do whenever they were depressed or stressed out or anything, which was reach for a bottle, yeah. Yeah. which made it that much worse. The Nashville star reveals she entered her first of several treatment facilities for substance abuse when Kaya was four months old. Yeah. I like had had it with myself. And explains that at the time, art was imitating life. Her character on Nashville faced addiction and postpartum depression. You want to have so much pride as a mom. And as soon as somebody says something that questions, even puts your mothering skills into question, I mean, mama bear comes out. It is a rough topic. I had to go to work every day and be acting out what I was truly going through. So by the time I got home, I didn't want to sit there with my own feelings and work them out. Mm. Wow. You know, That's I just want to escape. Yes. And after Nashville wrapped in 2018, she says she hit rock bottom. I was leaning on that bottle during that time off and it was bad. I was stuck in this horrifying nightmare that just wouldn't end and completely by myself and that is it a was scary place. Just, yeah. It was it was terrifying and I knew I was ruining my health. I turned jaundice at one point, like yellow eyes and went to a doctor and they said if you don't stop right now. You're heading towards a liver that's not going to mm -hmm. heal itself anymore. Yeah. And I looked up liver transplants, and it says they give you only like five years. Amid her issues with substance abuse, Hayden relinquished custody of her then almost three-year-old daughter who lives in Ukraine with her dad. A quote, very upsetting decision she claims wasn't up for discussion. I was going to go work on myself, right? and I was going to get better and when I got better then things could change yeah. and she could come to me and I could have my time with her but that um that didn't happen I thought she was going over to visit him like she mm -hmm. always did and then once she was over there he didn't send her back which it, it was immediately I want full custody of her Got which was a imagine. shock to me ultimately Hayden signed the papers giving Vladimir full custody I knew the most unselfish thing that I could do was to make that hard decision and just try to work on myself. Now she says she hopes one day to regain custody, adding that being open about the heartbreaking experience has been cathartic. I've never been this honest, brutally mm -hmm. honest about myself or my personal life, right. but it made, it made me depressed trying to hide my myself. Yeah. There's just something very freeing about just being yourself.